Hello everyone and welcome to the Forge Hub YouTube channel. My name is Abel Sir Thomas and today I wanted to discuss Basin. Now Basin was just added into uh, BTB Arena matching with the latest Battle of Shadow and Light update. It is a map that's created exclusively by 343 Industries and features a lot of influences from uh, Blood Gulch as well as Wahala. And it has a really cool kind of woodland theme as well. Now the first thing that, that becomes apparent on these forge maps is that uh, the new forge tool is really really awesome and it's it's really easy to build a map that will allow players to really be immersed and invested in those experiences. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is this central structure that divides the map. Um, it provides I think way too much influence for either team that holds the structure and it can be very difficult to pull players out of it because you're forced down these narrow hallways. Now luckily there are ways to get around the structure and avoid its influence, there's a cave on the back side of it, but I just think it's just very difficult to progress through the cave and it doesn't really take a lot of players to shut it down. But it does provide a, a way to escape that building's influence and to pull players out of it and force them to engage you. Now the base design is fairly straightforward, features a really cool mix of elements between Blood Gulch and Valhalla. You know, you have the central lift platform as well as uh, the subterranean levels and then um, spots for the Mongoose, Ghost, and Rocket Hog. Now the interior of the bases is fairly closed off, but it's open enough to where you can actually openly engage players and pull them out of those structures. Now personally, when playing this map on Capture the Flag, I like to take the uh, the backside and uh, I like to pull the, mat, the flag all the way around the map um, and take it back through the, the cave and avoid the central structure entirely. It's the easiest way to support your team and just to generally avoid enemy fire. Now the, the map does feature some asymmetric elements which, you know, each side is distinctly different than the other where one is kind of surrounded by rocks where the other kind of looks more like a beachhead. And just the base design is is fairly cool, I'll admit. There are just some subtleties and some small levels and bits of geometry that really allow you to get interesting sight lines and some interesting engagements. But unfortunately, overall, I feel like the map is just too flat. That There's just not enough opportunities to use all of the new Spartan abilities like Clamber and Thrust in meaningful ways. And engagements can become stale sometimes. But with that all being said, uh, the map is a lot of fun and it is pretty playable. And to be honest, if this is uh, the, the weakest of the maps, I think we're in a really good position for this newest BTB update. But guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, you know, hey, at least it's better than Settler. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 No!